This isn't fair. My acorns are frozen. What is going on? Why does this winter even happen? Oh, Chatter, you always find something to complain about, right? But don't worry, my little furry pal. We'll crack this seasonal mystery together. Hey, friends. Are you ready to help Chatter and uncover the secrets of the seasons? But I can assure you, he is always into one problem or the other, anyway. Imagine the Earth as a spinning top. The Earth rotates one whole spin every 24 hours. When your side of the Earth faces the sun, it's day. And when it faces away, it's night. This is called a rotation. While the Earth is spinning, it's also traveling in what seems like a big circle but is actually a slightly elliptical path around the sun. This journey, known as a revolution, takes one full year, 365 days. Now comes the exciting part. An invisible line runs through Earth, called the axis, from the North Pole to the South Pole. But here's the fun part, the Earth's axis isn't straight up and down, it's tilted at an angle of about 23.5 degrees. This tilt, combined with the Earth's spinning rotation like a top, and its revolution, orbiting around the Sun, gives us day, night, and, you guessed it, seasons. If the Earth were not tilted on its axis, there would be no seasons like the ones we experience today. The tilt of Earth's axis causes different parts of the planet to receive varying amounts of sunlight throughout the year. As Earth orbits the Sun, the tilted axis makes different parts of the planet lean closer to or farther from the Sun at different times of the year. This gives us winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Simply put, when a part of the Earth tilts toward the Sun, it receives more sunlight, making it warmer. When it tilts away from the Sun, it gets less sunlight, making it colder. The areas between leaning too much toward or away experience spring or autumn. Now, let's take a closer look at this fascinating phenomenon. Let's begin with winter. Earth's axis always points in the same direction because it is tilted at a constant angle of 23.5 degrees. Notice how Earth maintains the same tilt and direction all year round throughout its journey around the sun. Understanding this consistent tilt is essential before we explore how the winter season occurs. The sun shines directly on the southern hemisphere during this time of year because it is tilted toward the sun. This means the southern hemisphere gets more direct sunlight, making it warmer and giving it summer. Meanwhile, the northern hemisphere is tilted away from the sun, so the sunlight here is indirect and weaker. This is why the northern hemisphere experiences winter, it's colder, and the days are shorter. After three months, as the sun is revolving, spring season happens. Seriously? First, I was freezing, and now I'm soaking wet. My god, my acorns are wet now. What's going on? He always has some problems. Anyway, welcome to spring. The snow melts, plants wake up, and rain helps everything grow. Let me explain what's happening now. As the Earth moves from December to March, something interesting happens. By this time, the sun shines equally on the northern and southern hemispheres, because neither is tilted closer to or farther from the sun. In the northern hemisphere, this time is called fall or autumn. The air gets cooler, the days get shorter, and the leaves of trees fall to the ground. But south of the equator, it's a very different story. It is spring in the southern hemisphere. Flowers bloom, animals wake up from their winter rest, and the days get longer and warmer. But as the days get longer and warmer, something exciting is on its way. Next stop, summer! Can you believe this? First, my ice cream melts, and now the seawater feels warm. And don't even get me started on my poor acorns. They're so hot, I could pop popcorn on them. Seriously, what is going on? Oh, my dear friend! 
When was the last time you didn't have a complaint? Let's see what is happening in autumn. In June, the sun shines directly on the northern hemisphere, which means this part of the Earth gets more sunlight and warmer temperatures. Meanwhile, the southern hemisphere receives sunlight at an angle, making it cooler and bringing winter south of the equator. In the northern hemisphere, where our friend Chatter lives, it's summer. The days are longer, the sun feels hotter, and it's the perfect time for ice cream, unless you're Chatter, who's struggling to keep his acorns cool. The earth is tilted toward the sun, and that's why it's summer in the northern hemisphere during this time of the year. Guess what's next? Autumn in the northern hemisphere. Autumn is also called fall. Let's dive in and check it out. Now these leaves are attacking me. And look at this mess. Why are all the trees throwing their leaves away? What's going on here? Oh, chatter, not again. It's fall, remember? The trees are shedding their leaves to get ready for winter. Winter? Winter again? Great, now I have to decide. Do I eat these acorns now or save them for later? God, being a squirrel is so complicated. Chatter? You are impossible. Friends, let's understand the fall season. Something fascinating happens as we move into September. The sun shines equally on the northern and southern hemispheres because neither is tilted closer to or farther from the sun. In the northern hemisphere, it's fall, or as some call it, autumn. The days start getting shorter, the air becomes cooler, and nature begins preparing for the winter ahead. Meanwhile, in the southern hemisphere, it's the opposite, it's spring. Flowers are blooming, animals are waking up, and the days are growing longer and warmer. This balance of sunlight between the hemispheres during September makes the equinox so special, it's a moment of harmony when day and night are of approximately equal length all around the Earth. And that's the incredible story of how Earth's tilt and journey around the sun create the seasons. No matter where you live, every season brings something special to enjoy. Wait, 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 do you see what I see? How are you doing, Chatter? I am furious. It is a bit complicated. My sister is getting married, and I mistakenly ate all the acorns. They were meant to be a gift? I don't know what's going on. Well, my friends, Chatter's problems are unending like seasons. I will see you all later. Thanks for watching The Baby Stories.